Guess. Let's talk Caleb Williams here because Let's Caleb Williams, you're saying mock drafts have him dropping out of the first overall yeah, so, spot. So Al referenced one that has him third, uh, fifth. fifth. I've, I've seen him third. Okay. Let me tell you what's not going to happen. <laughs> Preach, Rich. That. I understand <laughs> Caleb Williams, after a loss, went, found his mom in the stands and cried on her shoulder in a lot of alphas out there. Had an issue with that. I know Susie had quite something to say from this chair while I was in Germany about it, and I echoed every single one of her sentiments. It's kind of funny how everybody... Well, isn't it funny how, you know, you're a mama's boy, you know, when you're crying on his shoulder, but you say, hi, mom, in the interviews, and suddenly you're a good son, and you cry on mom's shoulder, which means you're weak in every single universe that's out there. If you're lucky enough to have your mom or you have a very strong-minded wife... The world revolves around the female in your world. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> but when you works, cry on right? mom's shoulder, you're, you're soft. You're a soft. You're not you, a you can't of lead an NFL team. Now, that's stupid. <laughs> now, this past weekend is more of an actual possible in the realm of a whiff of an area code outside of your local calling area of a red flag which is him losing to UCLA and not talking to the media after. Because guess what's going to happen in the NFL? You're going to lose games you're not supposed to lose. You know what's going to happen in the NFL? Adversity. It's going to happen snap to snap. It's going to happen quarter to quarter. It's going to happen week to week. It's going to happen all the time. And you're going to have to face the music in the National Football League. And if you're not meeting with the media... That's going to be a problem, and that is an issue and does cause for a second to say, is the kid getting it or not? And anybody out there who has a chance to draft Caleb Williams and does not because of that should have to, after every time Caleb Williams wins and your team loses, face the media (laughs) and say, yeah, but he didn't talk to the media that one time losing to UCLA, so... You know what's going to happen? There's going to be a whole bunch of this nonsense about Caleb Williams. Between now? Between now (laughs) and the day he has his pro day here in USC. And he's going to have his pro day, and he's going to light it up. He's going to light it up like a bonfire sitting there in the parking lot of a Buffalo Bills pregame. Mm -hmm. He's going to light it up, (laughs) and he is going to smoke it. And anybody out there that has their doubts about Caleb Williams, it will go away. And whoever is choosing first overall in Detroit, Michigan, next April, will write down on the card (laughs) the words Caleb and Williams. Without hesitation. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I don't know if I could be any more plain about this. Just, just. Just try. Once just, upon just a time, to be a little plainer. Once upon a time, Christian McCaffrey was a terrible teammate because he didn't want to suit up in El Paso, Texas, for a Stanford Sun Bowl, and he was just red flagging all over the place. How's that guy looking right now in San Francisco? Bad teammate. Let me ask you a question about Leonard Fournette, Lombardi Lenny. Over and over and over again, you hear all this stuff about players. And some of it may cause for some pause. And some of it may lead to a potential dicey moment in a grease board meeting room in Indianapolis at the Combine. Hey, Caleb, why didn't you talk to the media? And you know what Caleb will say? The right things, tough spot, learn from it. All of that stuff. Caleb Williams, if he falls to three or five... Give me a hat. I'll eat it. Uh-oh. Seriously. Oh, I Rich, over Rich, I care Seriously. about you. I if care fall, about you. If he falls Rich, to three or do that. five, don't do that. get out of here. Well, obviously, if there's an injury or something that happens off the field that I'm completely unaware of, but if all things stay the same, if you're literally sitting here saying, well, boy, he cried on his mom's shoulder and then followed it up by not talking to <laughs> – you know, you don't blow off Bill Plaschke and expect to be first overall. You know? So get out of here with that noise. And any team that has a chance to get him, 
and doesn't take him because of that. You think, you know, Mitchell Trubisky dominating the conversation every time Mahomes does anything. Well, this will hold that beer. Kid's that good. (laughs) And does he have some growing up to do? Sure. Should he learn from this experience? Absolutely. Is he going to fall to three or five because of it? Okay. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Okay. All I'm saying is, like, let's get Tim Boyle losing his head off. And let's get the Jets up to three. <laughs> let's go. Honestly, please get out of here with that nonsense. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 